With jobs drying up and inflation rates soaring, many Afghans are desperate to make any money they can. For some in Kabul, that means selling off their much-loved jewellery just to make ends meet. Others don't even have that much to spare. What I said here is what uh, they want. They want food. For that purpose, they have brought the things from home and they are now selling. Everything has become more expensive. Gold is also more expensive than in the past. And at the same time, there are no job opportunities and people are living in poverty and misery. People who need gold have to buy at the same high price. Since the new Islamic Emirate government came, we have not had a good income. We do not make sales, but we have a lot of purchases because people sell their gold a lot. Foreign aid made up to more than 70 percent of the government's budget before the Taliban seized power. But since then, many countries have suspended funding. Sanctions have also been placed on the group and the country's central bank assets are frozen. The United Nations has been trying to galvanize the world to help. But that's been tough, as many global leaders have been reluctant to legitimize the Taliban's rule. We must seek ways to create the conditions that would allow Afghan professionals and civil servants to continue working to serve the Afghan population. I urge the world to take action and inject liquidity into the Afghan economy to avoid collapse. A new report from the World Food Programme and other agencies predicts nearly 23 million Afghans will be on the brink of starvation come November. Last month, international donors pledged $1.1 billion to save the collapsing country. But Afghans can't afford to wait any longer for help to arrive. Daniel Padwick, TRT World.